Hello everybody and welcome to a new English episode and this is Muhammad Hamid and we're going to study together the Jabberwocky poem and it's from uh, Through the Locking Glass by Lewis Carroll taken from uh, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Background in the first chapter of Through the Locking Glass, the sequel to Alice's adventure in the Wonder in Wonderland, Alice encounters a creature called a Jabberwock. Many of the invented words in Carol's imaginative poem are made up of two different words. For example, brillig is a combination of brilliant and broiling. In his poem, Jabberwocky Lewis Carroll uses a large number of nonsense words, many of which have no specific meaning, but whose emotional tone is often understandable. In the poem, a man warns his son to be careful of monsters. His son goes out in the wilderness, confronts the Jabberwock, and cuts its head off. When the son returns, his father congratulates him joyfully. The last stanza and first stanza, both describing the environment, are the same. Twas brillig and slithy toves did gyring gimble in the wave. All mimsy where the boar goes, and the mum rat outgrave. So. As you can see here, we have first to know uh, the meaning of the word drillig, and we said that it's a combination of brilliant and broiling, okay, and it means active and slimy. And slithy toves. So toves, it means cu it's a curious creature that uh, are something like badgers, and lizards and something like corkscrews, they make their nests under sundials and live on cheese. Gyre, it's a large circular surface current pattern found in each ocean. Gimbal, it means to make holes. In the wave, it means in the grass around the sundial. All mimsy where the boar goes, so mimsy means flimsy and miserable. The boar goes is a thin, shabby looking fictional bird. And the mom wrath out graves, so mom means turtle, and we have wrath means way or path. Out grave, something between blowing and whistling with a kind of sneeze in the middle. Beware the Jabberwock, my son. So the father is trying to give advice to his son to be careful. The jaws that bite, the clothes that catch, beware the job job bird. So first of all, you have to know this is the Jabberwock. And this is the job job bird. And both of them, they are... Um, imaginative creatures. Beware the job job bird and chon, the frimious bandersnatch. And here we have the bandersnatch. All of them they were creatures in, in Alice in Wonderland. He took his vorbal sword in his hand, in hand, long time than Manox foe he sought, he wristed he so rested he by the tum tum tree, and this is the tum tum tree, guys, and stood a while in thought. And as if in office thought he stood, the double walk with eyes of flame came whiffling through the talgy wood and burbled as it came. One, two, one, two, and through and through the 
vorpal blade went snickery snack as if he guys he hold his um his sword and he made it snicker like this guys and it's okay it's we call it what snicker snack he lift its head and with its head he went glumping back and has thou slain the jabberwock come to my arms my beamish boy the frumptious day colo calais he chortled in joy twas brilliant and the slightest toss did gyre and gimble and the wable mimsy where the burrow goes and the mum rat outgrace okay so as you see in the beginning and till the end and in the middle we have a plot here okay and the plot teaches us lots of things okay we are learning here in this poem how brave is the sun we're learning about bravery and courage how a son fought the jabberwock and as you see from the beginning to the end the tone was very tough and it was full of deadly scenes and facing your own fears how you face your own fears Okay, when when he said here the word promise bandersnatch means ferocious, angry, the angry bird. Okay. Then we came again, he he took his verbal sword, and verbal means deadly sword in his hands. Long time the manaxum foe, and foe means enemy, and manaxum means fearsome. So he rested, so rested he by the tum tum tree and stood a while in thought. And in office thought he stood. Office here, guys, when you are in a manner of harsh timber or rough timber, you say, Osh, the jobber walk with eye of flame, full of, you know, guys, of anger, flame, fire. Okay, came, as you see, came whiffling through the talgy wood. Okay, wood here, guys, as if we said that the, this scene happened in a forest. Okay, so when I say the talgy wood, it means it was very dark and thick. And burbled as it came. It means it started to make a sound to make the sun afraid, bulbring, continuous murmuring sound. And one, two, one, two, and through, and through. The verbal blade went snickery snack. The sun made it snickery snack. He lifted its head, and with its head, he went glumfring back. It means he moved along heavily with the head of the jabberwock. And has thou, thou here it means you, and this is old English, slain. You killed the, uh, the Jabberwock? Come to my arms. The, son, the, the father started to take his son into his arms. My beamish boy. Oh, frabjous day. Okay, it means this is a wonderful day. He chortled in his joy. It means he was very happy. Okay, the father. And here we are having... This, is, this is stanza is a repetition of the... Ferris to stanza. Okay. Key vocabulary. Uh, the first word we have here is beware. And beware means uh, be on the lookout, be careful, pay attention. Also, foe means enemy. Slain means killed. What is Jabberwocky from? From where is the Jabberwocky? It's from Through the Glocking Glass, a sequel to Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. What does drollig mean? A 
means four o'clock in the afternoon, which gives us the setting, the part of the setting of this poem. Which are other dangerous creatures in Jabberwock? The Bandersnatch and the Jobjob Bird. What feature of the Jabberwock and the Jabberwocky does the hero notice as the creature approaches him? its eyes of flame. Who gives the warning about the Jabberwock? The hero's father. He warned him, be careful. Where does the main action of the Jabberwock take place? In a forest. What's the main beast? The main beast is the Jabberwock. What did the boy bring back to his father? The beast's head. Mention two examples of onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia is a word that gives the sound. A word that gives what the sound. So two examples of onomatopoeia is the vorbal blade when snick or snack. Okay, this is one. And the, another one, which is he went Gollum thing back. And this is it, guys. This is the vorbal blade. It goes snicker snack and it leaves it dead. What is alliteration? Alliteration is the repetition of the beginning sound of a nearby word. Let's have some examples. PayPal. Here we have. Alliteration, the repetition of the initial sound, P for pay and P for pal. So this is, we call it what? Alliteration. Also, busy as a B. So B, B. Repetition of the initial sound. Here also we have alliteration of the repetition of the letter B. Thank you for watching this uh, video, uh, which is about the Jabberwocky. I wish you really enjoy it and wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. Goodbye.